Yes, oh, well, I've got a banking background, so I've been involved in banking for many years. And uh, about 12 years ago, I actually moved across to SBV uh, when the decision was taken to commercialize the entity. It was run as a cost recovery utility. Um, it is owned by the four major banks, SBV, and it was essentially set up as a as a cooperative to uh, share the infrastructure of moving money and processing money within the industry. So it's quite an efficient way of, of doing things. Uh, and that's the reason why SBV actually was set up. There's a lot that we do, um, you know, just to give you a sense and feel, there's, you know, if one looks at the number of attacks, it's come down from about 450, we're down to about 200, 250 a year now. So there's been a lot of reduction. And a lot of that has been brought about by technology. Um, having said that, SPV is somewhat unique in the sense that it only has, uh, we have about 35% of the vehicles on the road, but less than 2% of the attacks. So what we're doing, I think, is quite informative. Um, first and foremost is our people. Um, training is absolutely critical. You know, if, we don't, if you don't get your training right and you haven't got the right people, um, you can have a problem. Secondly, vetting, uh, making sure that the people that you bring in, you know, even if they are trained, you've got to make sure that they're honest people, people that are not coming to uh, come and rob you or set up robberies, etc., and passing on information. Um, technologies that we use, we use um, extensively a technology called VSA, which is a voice stress analysis system. And that measures the micro tremors uh, in the voice. And you can determine whether people are being honest with you. So we use it in a number of instances. When we recruit people, we will put them through a VSA to make sure that they are being, uh, they're not trying to get in under false pretenses. Secondly, if we have an incident, any incident that happens, all of our staff in terms of their contracts are obliged to undergo these tests. Then we will put them through those particular tests and we will know who's involved in the incident and who's not. So we know where to focus the investigation. You know, in the States, you can use that information to dismiss people. Here you can't, but you can still focus the investigation in the right place. And then the third area where we use it is randomly. So if we will go into a cash center, we will say you, you and you today. Your turn to undergo questions. Are you aware of anything? Are you planning anything? Uh, and in that way, we get to make sure that people are honest. So that's one of the technologies, but there's, there's a lot of other things that we do. The, the quality of our vehicles obviously is critical. Um, you know, we've developed uh, vehicles that have what we call 360 protection. So they're protected all around, where some of the older vehicles were only protected, you know, not, through, not on the floor, for example. So if the vehicle turned over, you could shoot through the floor. But we now have protection all around the vehicle and we have gun ports all around the vehicle. So if people are approaching, even if the vehicle's turned over, we can protect it from uh, any side. Which is, which is obviously critical. If, if we look at, as I said earlier, I think what we've, when we see, look at cash and trans, transit heist, the UK historically have always had the most heist. They, a year ago was 1,000, last year dropped to 400 cash and transit heist. So, but I think what's different in South Africa compared to, to the UK is the level of violence. There's a lot more violence in South Africa. People tend to be killed, whereas in the UK, it's more snatching bags across pavements, uh, associated with a lot, a lot less, uh, lot less violence. We have a company called Sabric, um, which we work together with, and everybody shares information. So there's a lot of information that's shared between not only the banks but also between the different CRT companies. So when it comes to safety and risk issues, that is an area that we do cooperate. So it's a non-competitive area. Um, it's got nothing to do with pricing or anything else. It's, it's about really making sure that criminals don't get a foothold and that we, we do address them. But you know, if one looks at why the heists have come down, you know, I think one of the key things is the work that the police have done. Uh, we've, we work very closely with, with, the, with the SAPs, the Hawks. Um, we work very closely with asset forfeiture. So if people do steal, we make sure that we, the assets actually get recovered. And the NPA, in terms of making sure that we get prosecutions. You know, five years ago, there were, no, there were no prosecutions. People, there was no consequence for cash and transit heist. We are now getting to the stage where we are getting successful convictions, and uh, that is now acting as deterrent. Because you know, at the end of the day, what do they say? Crime doesn't pay, and it doesn't pay. And certainly, that's, that's, that's where we are now. It doesn't pay because there is a consequence. Yeah, I, th I think if one looks at uh, what is happening overseas, I think a lot of ma many companies overseas are looking at South Africa as the springboard in terms of Africa. Yeah, and I think that's, Traditionally, being its kind of key 
competitive advantage, we can call it a footprint in terms of getting into the rest of Africa. You know, I think we've got to be careful in terms of some of the areas that we're involved in. If one looks at our labor legislation, for example, it's pretty onerous and restrictive, and it makes it quite difficult in terms of investment here. Um, and you know, I think what we've got to try and do is we've got to try and focus as a country in terms of becoming more friendly in terms of the uh, foreign investment, because we need foreign investment. And uh, you know, if we can position ourselves as the gateway to Africa and all of that investment is channeled through here, it can only benefit the country.